Hello everyone and welcome back to another video by McDonald Bullion and for today's video we're going to be talking about the Perth Mint bars. I have a row of Perth Mint Dragon bars here and I've got the new 2024 Dragon bar to open up and show you as well. This was purchased from Silver Trader who is a uh, dealer here in the UK for silver goods and I bought this from the website. It came quite quickly. Okay, and here we have the 2024 Dragon Bar. And this is a really nice design for this year. As you've got Charles III there as well. It's going to be his first portrait on these bars. The Australians actually left Queen Elizabeth on their coins and bars and things for a lot longer than I anticipated, actually. So this is going to be the 2024 Charles III Australian Four Nines Fine $1 Bar and a really nice dragon design. I've got three of them already, as you can see in the background. As you can see, if you haven't already, this capsule does fit it. Um, it doesn't fit it as snug as I want to, and that's just because they are a different dimension of bar compared to your other one ounce bars. So you can get generic one ounce bar capsules, but they won't fit the dragon bars. So just keep that in mind. I purchased some of these capsules, which are from, uh, Bird Bullion, who I purchased off eBay, and I think I got about five of them. They aren't cheap, but they do fit them very, very nicely uh, within them. So I'm just going to quickly take it out of this capsule and put it into the Bird Bullion one. Okay, so I got the capsule on, and that's going to... It fits so well, so well. And um, yeah, it fits a lot better compared to the other one. And that's that's not uh, any criticism or anything. Annoyingly, these bars are a different dimension and you have to get specialised capsules, I think. I think you can get a really nice display case for the Dragon Bars as well. But the reason why I don't get them is purely because I don't know when they're going to stop making them. So I don't want to purchase a, uh, a display for let's say like five or six dragon bars and then keep releasing them because then I just think, well, what's the point? So I've got these capsules that you can get from Bird Bullion, which are on eBay. They're not cheap. I think they're about a tenner for five capsules. So that, bear that in mind, but they really do fit them really nice and snug compared to other generic capsules. But the Perth Mint release the Dragon Bars every year since 2018, I believe. I've got um, four of them at the moment. I am doing a collection over time. I'm not in a huge rush to purchase them, but over time, I think the collection will grow just as they release them. Do I think the Dragon Coins, well, the Dragon Bars are worth buying? Absolutely, because you've got a different design every year, which is nice to have. The Australians do a great job with amending their designs, not only for their Dragon Bars, but also the Kookaburras, the Quokkas, and things like that as well. So uh, it's nice to keep it fresh, nice to keep a collection of silver bars and coins, and ultimately it's subjective. So if you want to keep your costs as close to spot, then it may not be the thing for you because there is a little premium to them. I think this cost £33 from Silver Trader, which I was happy to pay. It incorporates the postage and packaging in that as well and adds on to the collection. It'd be great to see what we get for next year for the 2025 Dragon Bar. And if you haven't guessed already, I will probably be buying that one as well. But let's take one final look at the Dragon Bar and I'll see you guys in the next one.